Hello there, my amazing artists. Welcome back to Art with Me, Mrs. Knowles. We are gonna be using the art element of form today to create a castle. Check that out. Cool, right? So form is when we show things that are three-dimensional. Like for example, a cube or a cylinder is an example of a form. It's three-dimensional. So what we're gonna do first before we start to make our castle is I'm going to show you how to make some of these three-dimensional forms so that you know and you're ready to start using them on your castle. All right, let's get started. All right, so you can see my castle a little bit better now. So we're gonna have to use some three-dimensional forms on our castle. So let's practice those forms first before we get started. So you're gonna need a small piece of paper and what I'd like you to do is fold it in half, like a book or a hamburger. Then open it up and fold it back the other way in half. Okay, so now you should have four rectangles and I'm just gonna draw with my pencil on there so you can see it a little bit better. Okay, four rectangles. Now I'm gonna use a Sharpie just so you can see it, but you keep using your pencil for this part. Okay, this, this rectangle, we are going to make a cube. Cube is C-U-B-E. Okay, so to make a cube, we're gonna start with a square a square is a flat shape, right? Okay, you got your square. And now we're gonna give our square some little legs. So I'm going to do a diagonal line. Then I'm gonna come to this corner, do the same diagonal line. I'm gonna go down to this corner and do another diagonal line. Now it kind of looks like a table, doesn't it? If I turn it that way. Okay, now we're gonna connect our lines together. And there you go. You have made a cube. Look at that. Can you see the different sides of the cube? So you've got the front, the top, and the side there. Good job. Okay, let's make a sphere for this one. So sphere is S-P-H-E-R-E. A sphere is a circle that is three-dimensional. So we're just gonna draw a circle. Now we're gonna leave it that way until we add some shadows. So just leave it for now. Okay, now let's do a cone. C-O-N-E. So a cone starts with two sides of a triangle, just like that. Then you're gonna connect your two sides using a smiley face line like that. Okay, so that's a cone. All right, and the last one we're gonna make is a cylinder. So it's C-Y-L-I-N-D-E-R, cylinder. A cylinder is like a can, if you think of a can. So I'm gonna start my cylinder with an oval, like that. Then I'm gonna do two straight lines, coming down, stopping at about the same place. And then I'm gonna do a smiley face line, curved line, connecting those together. Okay, good job. So now we have four different three-dimensional forms and we're gonna add some shadows. So I'm gonna do this part with my pencil. Now, I want you just to do on your cube, if we lightly add a shadow onto the side, it's going to make your cube look more three-dimensional. So I'm just lightly coloring with my pencil. Something that's kind of fun that you can do with pencils is you can smear it with your finger a little bit. So it kind of smudges all those together. 
Okay, now for a sphere, right now my sphere just looks like a circle, doesn't it? So we're gonna add a shadow on this side. And I'm just kind of coloring lightly. So you can imagine that the sun is shining on my sphere up here and it's shining right here and hitting that part, which means that this part is in shadow. And the same thing on my cube, the sun is shining over here and it's hitting those parts of my cube. So the sun is shining right there. Now let's smudge it a little bit. Ooh, that looks like a real sphere, doesn't it? Can you think of something that is the shape of a sphere? What about the earth? The earth looks like that, doesn't it? Okay, so a cone, again, let's imagine the sun is shining and it's hitting the cone right there. So we're gonna add a shadow over here onto our cone. I'm gonna do the same thing, just smush my pencil lines around. Wow, so cool. Okay, and then on the cylinder again, the sun is shining. The sun is hitting the top of my cylinder and this side of my cylinder. So I'm gonna add some shadow over here. Okay, smush it around with my finger. Cool. I love it. That looks pretty real, doesn't it? Okay, so now you know how to make a cube, a sphere, a cone, and a cylinder. We are gonna use a cylinder and a cone on our castle today. And then of course, if you wanted to add a cube and a sphere somewhere on your castle, you could do that too, right? All right, I'm gonna put this paper off to the side and get my other paper. Mm -hmm.